hello. I have had this package for almost 48 hours and it's killing me not being able to open it, so whew, cannot wait to pop this boy open. For my birthday, I went to my local Webkin store to actually get the June Webkins and the July Webkins, but my store did not have any of those or really any new Webkins at all. So since that trip was kind of a bust, my dad gave me the money to get these Webkins. And I'm so grateful. Let's crack these boys open. Oh my god. Look at the children. Oh my god, what happened? Um, we got a different face. This creature, to be honest, it's not that bad. The initial first look at my newborn scared me. The body is actually really floppy. The head is really stiff and kind of weirdly shapen, but we can, we can save him. We can save you, sweetheart. Don't worry. So this is the Webkin's Husky Pup. I am naming this sweetheart Jasper after the town, city, I don't know, in Alberta. Shout out to you, fandomkins. Fam. Okay. <laughs> and I just think he looks like a little mountain boy. So I think Jasper is really fitting. How long has my knee been in the shot? Wow. I really hope that you enjoy the uh, licking sounds in the background of this video. I hope that triggers your ASMR. Thank you for that, Sophie. Our next baby that we're gonna pull out is the Pebble Horse, which was the pet for July. Oh my god, it's so cute! Look at his little face! This is so much cuter than I could have ever expected. I am obsessed. So here's the Pebble Horse, which I'm gonna definitely call the Pebble Pony at least once because <sighs> why? Why? So I really wanted to get this Webkins and name it after my aunt. If you guys are not up to date with my videos, my aunt actually passed away in April. Her name was Elsie. She grew up on a farm. She absolutely adored horses and all animals with her entire heart. So I just felt like this one would be the perfect Webkins to name after her. I love this little legend. So before the mood comes down any lower than it just was, we are gonna turn up the volume with the new Webkins for August. Oh, this, oh my God. Oh no, this eye is here. This eye is up here. So this is the shepherd. Oh, what? I'm stupid. So this is the sheepdog that came out for August and I love this Webkin so much. I really, really, really love the original Webkin sheepdog, the old English sheepdog, sorry, to the stands that are offended. His back legs are super like stiff, like this whole area is just like really no flop, but the front is a floppy party. For this video, I thought that I would do some comparison for everybody who has not yet bought any of these Webkins and you're kind of thinking about it. I know that my favorite thing when I'm thinking about buying something is seeing comparisons. So first for the husky puppy obviously we got to compare it to the original husky oh my god this is a giant and then I've also seen it be compared to the pitbull puppy which if you know is like my favorite being on this whole planet in comparison to the husky the big elephant in the room is the husky oh my god it's like a giant compared to the regular husky they're both soft in their own way so I can't really tell you which one is softer they're both made out of different materials <laughs> Pipple Puppy and the Husky Pup I've seen compared a lot. I think it's mainly to do with size and the fact that they're both white and gray. <laughs> they're not made of any of the same fabrics. They do not have the same eye. They don't even have the same nose. In stature though, I would kind of say that they're pretty similar. Now for the Pebble Horse, which should be Pebble Pony, but <laughs> I have the Choco Vanilla Pony, which is a new pony. And then I also have an old school horse from back in the day. The first thing that I noticed is that the Choco Vanilla Pony, which is a big Webkins, I won't lie, like it's a pretty large one, is actually bigger than the Pebble Horse. Even standing up, sitting down, the Choco Vanilla Pony is just bigger. It's not as small as the regular horses from back in the day, but it's not as big as the newer ones. And the face! Oh, I am so sold on this Webkins. I want to preach the gospel for everybody to buy it. And last but not least, I present you with the Sheepdog. I've seen this Webkins most compared to clearly the old English Sheepdog. I personally thought it seemed a lot like the Misty Puppy. To the old English Sheepdog, they really don't have much in common 
at all. They have different eyes. They have different noses. This one's a plush nose. Their W is not on the same foot. They really don't have anything in common except for the fact that they are both white and gray, even though they are made out of completely different fabrics. Their colorings are exactly the same, the pattern on them. They have the gray on the end of the ears and for the back half of their body to the feet where it then goes white again. But besides that, these webkins have absolutely nothing in common. This Old English Sheepdog is extremely floppy, hence why it's one of my favorites. I don't know, I don't think I have a webkins that has this same material. I think these two actually have more in common than the Sheepdog and the Old English Sheepdog. They're both... Oh god, I'm wielding a knife. If you are a fan of Webkinz in the year 2018, I am pretty sure that either once in your life or currently you have taken photos of your Webkinz. Whether you do it for Instagram or you just do it for fun, you do it. If you collect Webkinz, you do it. Don't even lie to me. So I don't think this would be a fair review if I did not test these guys out for photogenicness. What? <laughs> Anyways, let's go see if they take photos well. <laughs> I'm back. Each Webkins I gave myself exactly five minutes to take photos of. I took as many photos as I could take in five minutes. This is what we got. Looking at the Husky Puppy. I think this Webkins is actually pretty cute. It looks pretty cute right now. I can honestly tell you though, I have never had a Webkins make me feel like such a terrible photographer ever. I don't know if I am just the most untalented person on the universe or if I can just not get this Webkins to look good. I can honestly say I don't think I got one good photo of the husky puppy. Regardless though, I do think this Webkins would be really cute in the snow. Second, we have the Pebble Horse, which is a vast opposite of the husky puppy. Every single photo that I took of this horse was at least half decent, but most of them were great. Like, this Webkins photographs so beautifully, even from the front on, from the side. Like, this Webkins is just stunning. I can absolutely not wait until fall because this Webkins will just be so gorgeous in contrast with all of the leaves and everything. And lastly, I bring you the sheepdog. I don't even know where to start. With the five minutes I gave myself, I was not expecting to take award-winning photography. But with that being said, I was hoping that I might get some half-decent ones, and I truly believe that I think I may have got like three. But I don't really think that that's completely the Webkin's fault. I personally just have a hard time taking photos of white Webkin's for some reason. I don't know. In conclusion though, I would recommend these Webkin's to anyone who loves Webkin's and collects them. I think these are all really great Webkin's. Just because I couldn't get a good picture of this guy doesn't mean that he's not a great Webkin's. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys super, super soon with a new video. Mm -hmm. Bye guys.